What's going on guys, Save Griffin here, and I imagine at this point you've seen hundreds of videos out there advertising the best ALC settings. <clears throat> but I've realized for a new player or even an already established player, using someone else's settings will never be the best. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through each setting in Apex Legends, so hopefully at the end of the video you guys can create your perfect settings. I strongly urge you to watch the entire video so you don't miss any important information, and if I'm able to help you guys out, a sub would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Alright, so in the first section we have Dead Zone, and Dead Zone is one of the most important settings in ALC because it controls the amount of stick drift that you'll have on your controller. And if you don't know what stick drift is, it's basically where your stick moves without you touching it, and that causes your character to spin. What Dead Zone does is it sets a ring that determines when your stick will start registering. So you can see here that as I increase the Dead Zone, the circle gets bigger, and I need to push my stick more to the side in order for it to register. I recommend setting the number to zero and increasing it by one to find your perfect number. You want to have your Dead Zone as low as possible because the more you increase it, the less responsive the stick is. In a perfect world, if you can handle more stick drift, having it down to 3 or 0 is the best, but definitely don't have it more than 10 because it's really stiff and hard to play. Alright, so outer threshold isn't really super important, but it's kind of complicated, and I'm going to try my best to explain it. Um, so your yaw and pitch speeds are your up and down sensitivity, and outer threshold determines how far you need to pull before you reach the maximum speed of your sense. So in this case, with a sensitivity of 300, I'd recommend keeping it as low as possible because you want to be able to get to your maximum speed of your sense as fast as possible so it feels a lot more consistent. Alright, so moving on to response curve, this is by far the most important setting and it's the entire feel of your settings. So a 10 response curve will feel like classic, and a 0 response curve will feel like linear. You can see when I set it to 0, the graph is a linear line, and at 10, or classic, the line starts slow and then picks up in speed, just like classic is. And that's one of the reasons why most people do like a classic sense, because these small movements are very easy to control, and then when they need the speed, it's there. But I've noticed having high sense on classic can sometimes be hard to control, because your speed just isn't manageable when it gets to that steep increase. Alrighty, so time for the per optic settings. These are basically specific settings for each optic in the game, like a 1x, 2x, 3x, etc. And if you want some settings to base yours off of, there's a link to my Season 13 ALC settings video in the description. I really do highly recommend that video. I'm going to be coming out with a Season 14 settings video here pretty soon, so if you want to see that, a sub would be greatly appreciated. Alright, so now we have the extra yaw and pitch, and this is an additional boost in speed depending on when you reach your outer threshold so you can see right now i'm at the 300 cent speed and then i'm kicking into the extra yaw speed when i reach my outer threshold for extra pitch it's the exact same thing but up and down but to be honest i don't think it's worth having this on and for the ramp up time this setting is honestly disgusting basically it's the time it takes for your extra yaw or pitch to kick in once at the outer threshold i'm gonna be honest it's not worth it at all it's super inconsistent and gives you more time to make mistakes um, when the point of ALC is to be super precise and get that exact setting. I really wouldn't recommend this. The same with ramp up delay, which adds a delay to the XDR and pitch. So all in all, wouldn't recommend those settings on anything, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. And for the ADS pitch and yaw, these are the exact same as these ones up here, but when you're ADS or aiming down sights. Once again, if you want to check out my settings for Season 13, there's a link to them in the description. And then finally, target compensation is your aim assist, which you should have on all the time. And then your melee target compensation is the aim assist you get when punching. Alright, so there's my in-depth guide of advanced look controls. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the description. And leave a like if I taught you anything. These videos take so much time to make, and it's a free way to support me. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I got a 50 piece on me in a Gucci wallet. This man bag got a ticket, we'll do deposits. In the tangle, man, we fucking so tell nobody. Really want a fridge, my shot, watch you passing by.